For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make brown butter, also known as bernoisette. Bernoisette translates to hazelnut butter. And as the name implies, we are making a process of browning the butter to create caramelized, sweet, nutty notes. I love using brown butter for savory as well as sweet applications. For savory applications, try using it in pastas, using it in sauces like beurre blanc or hollandaise, as well as using it on seafood and vegetables. For sweet applications, I love to use it in pie doughs, and any of my favorite pastries really. Try substituting it in your favorite cookie recipes too. Look out for my recipes on blondies as well as financiers. The process of making brown butter is quite simple, but it does require a bit of patience and a careful eye. When browning butter, I prefer to use a stainless steel saucepan. The stainless steel provides me a visual so I can see as the caramelization occur. As well, the straight sides of the saucepan will mean that I'll have even distribution of heat as the butter melts and the milk solids caramelize. Rather than using a saute pan that is slope sided where that heat distribution is not quite as even. You can also use a heat proof spatula as in silicone or even a wooden spoon to stir your mixture but you'll observe that I'm not using either. I'm just whirling the mixture as I'm gradually heating the butter. This is enough to help caramelize the butter solids and promote good even distribution of heat. Use a good quality unsalted butter. Typically, butter ranges in butter fat content of 80 to 82%. This leaves the remainder of water content in the butter plus 1-2% to milk solids. To prepare the brown butter, place the butter in a saucepan. Occasionally stir the butter to evenly distribute the heat and melt the butter. As mentioned, I'm just swirling the butter, lifting it from the pan once in a while just to control the heat. As the butter melts, the butter will begin to bubble as the water boils and evaporates. The milk solids will sink to the bottom of the pan and begin to caramelize. As the milk solids heat, Maillard reaction occurs, creating wonderful flavor compounds. Tilt the pan on occasion to control the heat, but also get a visual of the caramelization developing. When making brown butter, keep a careful eye as well as ear when caramelizing the butter. As the water boils off, you will hear a lot of bubbling action occurring. Once the water is evaporated, it will become silent. This is a good indication that your butter is now done. Reduce the heat as you see any signs of browning. You can stir the butter to prevent any of the milk solids from sticking to the bottom of the pan. At this stage you want to prevent the butter from burning as it is very easy to occur. Once the boiling is subsided and the activity is slowed down, you will notice that the butter looks frothy. This is also an indication that the browning process is ending. To control and stop the caramelization process and to prevent burning of the butter, I place the pan in a bowl of cold water. Rather than pouring the hot butter into a bowl to stop the cooking, this method of shocking the butter in a bowl of cold water is much faster and more efficient. The smell is amazing. It's nutty and sweet and smells a little bit like rum too. As you can see, the milk solids are a beautiful golden brown color as I'm caramelizing the butter solids. Try browning butter for your next recipe, as this will heighten and elevate any of your favorite recipes that contain butter.